If you're a man, you don't cry about it. You take life the ups and downs. If you're a real man, you never go down, you just stay up. That's why this sport coat costs $800 and that costs $200. And I don't know what that costs, I'd be ashamed to wear it. That's why I'm wearing lizard shoes and a Rolex watch. Important it, snorting it, any competition extorting it. Anything I want, affording it. Got enough crack to get four to hit. Turn a saint to a sinner, lose to a winner. Whether old school or a beginner, my shit's the best. Rick's the best. Have your heart beating right out your chest. That Rick Flair like, Woo! that Rick Flair like. Woo! This is all I do. I got that Rick Flair like. Woo! Woo! Styling, profiling, that Ricky Mickey girl go. Woo! Big cause. Recording session. Recording session. Is that what they say in Zoom? Like right when you when Rick. Right- uh, or it says like Zoom is recording or something like that. Yeah, it's like it, it, it lets you know. It lets you know that the the and world that, is listening. In that standard robot woman voice. <laughs> How did she take over? Like, like a all, robot woman versus a robot man? Yeah, it's all like the See, that's why I don't believe in the patriarchy because of <laughs> robot women voices. I believe in it. I support it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the greatest invention <laughs> mankind has ever. The robot woman? The robot woman <laughs> represent is the voice of the patriarchy. Yeah, yeah that's true. Are you sick? Uh, no, I got a stuffy nose, but I'm not sick. <laughs> <laughs> what is it stuffed with? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. <laughs> you go to your dealer. I'd like uh, one gram of fun, please. <laughs> Pulls out a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how's it going? It's been a long time since we kind of hung yeah. out in person. Yeah, a lot has happened. A lot has happened since then. Oh, really? Well, just in the Middle East. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you meant in your life. <laughs> no, <not really. laughs> just been, uh, I don't know, like observing all the all the chaos, and all the Israeli shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's funny because, like, you, I notice you're not allowed to criticize Jews, like, at all. Yeah, like, yeah. you're not supposed to say. <laughs> you know what you guys are doing? Where there's fucked up. <laughs> and they're like, you're an anti-Semite. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. To be fair. But what's a Semite? A Semite? So apparently, I, I've done my research on this. Um, a Semite it doesn't technically mean Jew. It mm. means like, I think it's I think it's like kind of Middle Eastern or something like that. There's like, it's, it's like a more encompassing term. Mm. So it doesn't mean Jew. So you could be like an anti-Semite, but like people dislike people from yemen technically or something like that i can't remember what it means but it doesn't mean jew okay yeah because i was like i'm not an anti semite i don't know what semite I'm, I'm anti-kike but i'm not anti <laughs> you can't be anti <laughs> they're good people they make me laugh <laughs> yeah, the jews are okay <laughs> um, um no i uh i've been i was watching a bunch of stuff uh just recently um i'm uh i also feel like uh there there is a lot of uh uh judging israel or whatever that they're gonna do what they're doing and stuff like that like i think that's that's flipped i think it's all it kind of depends on look media is so wide ranging now Mm -hmm. where it's like it kind of just depends on what you're subscribed to what you're following because like if i click on the wrong video i get a whole lot of anti-israel shit like for for hours it just won't stop and then of course i'm saying the opposite if i click on the right pro-Israel thing, then I get all anti-Palestinian, anti-Hamas stuff for, like, hours. <laughs> That's why I get a lot of anti-trans things on my <laughs> 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 I need to stop liking all those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll say, I think, I've, I don't know, I've met a lot of brown people, and, uh-huh. and within that pool, I, I probably met some Palestinians that I didn't know were Palestinians. Yeah. But I will say that, by comparison between brown people and Jews that I've met. Yeah. I like Jews more. <laughs> is that okay to say? Uh, Even though I don't support, I think Israel is bullshit. Is maybe not a great country. It uh, shouldn't even be a fucking country. Like, what is this whole, like, oh, well, this is the land that God, you know, is, has given it, th- these people. Like, would that suggest that God's, like, racist or whatever? That area... <laughs> Should be called. It should be a country. It's it's an area. It should be something. Yeah. Should it be Israel? I don't know. Should it be Palestine? It I don't know. Africa. Maybe. It's on the African plate, right? Like it's it's uh, within it's the Africa. Middle East. I guess it's not. It's but, not in Africa. It's not northern Africa. You're thinking of Morocco. <laughs> but can you imagine if they come up with like, listen, Palestinians, you can't have this land. Jews, you can't have this land. 
we're giving it back to the black people. <laughs> and then that's when Palestine and Israel come together. together. Fuck no. <laughs> we're not giving it to them. We hate them. <laughs> we hate them more than we hate each other. <laughs> Stupid racists. Yeah. All of them. They're all fucking racist. Um, yeah. Uh, we're doing a, a uh, what I've dubbed, and it, I guess this is what I'm going to call this episode, the car cast. Okay. We're recording out of a car because we're still... Uh, in the midst of still homeless, we're still homeless. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about the way here. I'm like, we are homeless. We're, homeless we're gonna get in our car yeah. and do our job from our car <laughs> because we have no home. We're homeless. <laughs> like we're bad husbands. <laughs> 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 we, we went from the bedroom to the couch to now in the fucking car on a rainy day. To be fair, I would say a more apt understanding of us because we used to record at the Royal Comedy Club that's no longer around. Yeah. We're more like a mooching boyfriend mm. whose rich girlfriend mm. died suddenly and hadn't yet left us anything. Right. So we're just homeless now because we're really banking on, <coughs> <laughs> on that wife that's, taking us to the promised land. And yeah. That same girl, rich girl from before she died, we were behind hugging her at Arby's <laughs> while we paid for our meal. <laughs> <laughs> Giving her nice kisses on the ear from behind. <laughs> yeah, baby, just biggie sizes. <laughs> <laughs> Having that said, I'm enjoying the car cast. Yeah, car cast so far is pretty good. Or, if we want to be li- bilingual, I thought of this on the way here. The Shaw cast. Shaw cast. Sharkast. You're not thinking of the right char as in car. Yeah. In French. Yeah. The sharkast. No, I know, but auto, autocast. No, yeah, <laughs> because auto is a word in English. That's why I kind of skip past that one. But that's why you gotta use the, you know, the annoying pronunciation auto. Auto. Autocast. Automobile cast. Autocast. <laughs> <laughs> sharkast. That's good. Um, how's your? You just recently moved in with your lady. Yeah. How's yeah, that yeah. going? Yeah, you know, that's going good. Uh, I just spent the whole day, like, inst- installing things or whatever. And I say the whole day. I didn't get that much done, but it's because I'm, like, only vaguely okay at, st- like, drilling in things or whatever. So it took me way longer than a real like man would have. <laughs> drilling in her. <laughs> <laughs> you guys fucking more or? Um... Or that uh, slow down a little bit. No, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say more. Don't forget, like we moved. It's not like we were uh, eighteen year olds and we were like having sex at my parents' place, and then we moved out on our first apartment alone. And yes, yeah. we're poor, but we have we have at least our own place to to fuck all the time or whatever. She had this place. We were always at my parents' place. Yes. But she has a daughter, mm-hmm. and now we're just in a smaller apartment. Yeah. If anything, we had more privacy at my parents' oh, house. Oh, for say. sure. Noise-wise, at least. I mean, and I'm you're... a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> scream. uh, <laughs> while you're screaming deeper, deeper. <laughs> She's like, "What?" what? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's because I used to when I lived with my folks, you know, fucking my room and. I don't know. I don't, you never, I don't think, quite get used to that. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you're always pulling back something. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, I mean? yeah. You know, you're holding like, back in a, in a way. Like that... calling her a whore. <laughs> 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 you're always pulling back on something. So I figured, like, once you've moved out, it's just more, dude, we could fuck in the living room. Yeah, morning, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, next to the fridge, anywhere. We could do it anywhere, anywhere at this yeah. point. But, you know, I wonder if, like, if you spend so much time living in like a house with other people, once you move into an apartment, does it actually get that crazy, or does it, or does it kind of like just mellow out almost weirdly? Um, like I said, this is the first girl I've moved in with, yeah. and it's we're already like it's 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 a cool apartment, but it's a small apartment, and everything. So I guess I'll just never have that experience until the kids are older and they move out. Yeah, you um. You considering, or uh, you definitely probably had the conversation, like thinking about having a kid. A kid, her. yeah. Like We've had the conversation. Kid. Yeah, it's one of those where it's like that's up to me mm-hmm. to be like, yeah, I need my seed. Yeah, I need my seed because she's got two kids already. Yeah, so she's like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I have right. two, and I like them both a lot. And so she, yeah, and she's about to graduate from like your your girl about to graduate from being. 
the mom, like the constant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A kid mom, like after eighteen or nineteen, the kids are kind of now. Yeah, yeah. To be on she's about own. to be like young again. Yeah, she's, she's about to be free. <laughs> Not physically, but, <laughs> <laughs> but once she's free. That's when you knock her up. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> yeah, you're going back to jail. <laughs> Do you want kids? Uh, I don't know. I you mean, don't know? Well, it's funny because I've had a few um, <laughs> <laughs> scares. Scares? <laughs> if you will. <laughs> and I, I think about some of those girls, and I think I'm so lucky that I did. I don't have to associate myself with that person anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, the kid yeah. would be this this bind this this thing that brings us together and i feel you know it's 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 way better off that the, the I child so. was killed yeah you know oh okay it was killed <laughs> in the so, womb. I, I was gonna say that because i hate when someone's like oh we had a couple pregnancy scares but you know we, it turns out she wasn't her. pregnant or whatever yeah. in my head i go that wasn't a scare then, because technically she was never pregnant. Right? No, no. This one, like a couple were, and we just sent our Hamas missiles. <laughs> Those are the only kids we don't mind butchering. Apparently, That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's like one person probably that I, you know, we could have had a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I. There's one that I regret where I'm just like, I, oh, I, I wish. Because she would have been a decent, even if it, you guys didn't stay together, co-parent. Yeah, that, that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's there's one instance where I think about it, I'm like, oh, that, that would have been, that would have been nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I'm kind of like, I, I just, it's so funny because you almost feel like when that shit happens, you should also have a say in it, but you know, like, yeah, yeah. whether keeping the kid or not. But it's so fucked up to tell somebody that you have to go through all this shit. You know, and let's say they kind of don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you put them through all of that just so that they give birth to somebody. And six months after the kid's born, you cheat on them. <laughs> 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 or you leave them. Or, or you like, leave them, whatever. Or, yeah, yeah. or she just resents you and just uh, is like, you know, kind of like regrets having it. Yeah, and yeah, looks yeah. at you as that fucking bastard that like forced her to have a kid. So I always just go, well, it's up to you. You know what I mean? It's. It's up to you whether you keep it or not. Yeah, yeah. And I realize that oftentimes when these girls didn't keep it, they're also aboarding me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want they're you. They're aborting Little Lee. When yeah. they decide it, <laughs> yeah. they're they're going. And they're aborting Big Lee, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can fuck off now. <laughs> You're a scumbag. You know would be a great way to decide an abortion mm. is to put, to put a, a picture of a baby in one hand <laughs> and a picture of mush in the other, and they do that thing where you put it behind your back and you switch them, and then you go pick a hand. <laughs> they pick the wrong arm. They go, like, "Oh, it's the pink mush." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Yeah, yeah. But I always, I always hated when people are like, "Oh, I had a, oh, I had a pregnancy scare," mm. but it's. There's nothing. That's like when someone's like, "Oh, I had a cancer scare, but uh, we did we tested the the mole or whatever, and actually it was benign. It was nothing." Right. So I'm like, "So you didn't? There was no cancer scare. You never had cancer. A cancer scare is very mild cancer, and they get rid of it right away, right. and it never comes back. That's a cancer scare. Thinking you have cancer for like a a week and then finding out it was never cancer. Yeah. That's uh, something else. That's cancer just scares like a wet fart. Like where you just like you wipe it and just a little bit came yeah. out, <laughs> as opposed to full blown <laughs> shit in your pants. Like you got nine hours to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's um, it's crazy though to, to think about how pro like abortion, how, how how much abortion is so supported and mm-hmm. like encouraged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh. Yeah, it kind of bugs me actually. It yeah, bugs me a little bit. Yeah, because I I shouldn't have been. I, I should have just been a man and, and the kept first the girl. Like yeah, and just, yeah, and just dealt with that and learned my life lesson instead. That is true. Yeah, I I do think I'm I don't want someone having a kid yeah. that can't have a kid, right? I can't say I'm truly pro <laughs> abortion. Yeah, I do think. Uh, <laughs> you could have put the mic down and then blew it. The- oh, you did. That came off so clearly on the recording. <laughs> like, it was almost cartoonish. Like, you know, when you're watching a cartoon and they go, Brr! <laughs> yeah, the, 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 flutters. Yeah, the napkin flutters. We should keep that recording and sell it to, to some production team that needs a blow your nose sound. <laughs> 
I, I'm okay with that. That'd be so cool. Yeah, uh, I I can't say I'm 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 like oh pro abortion. I do think there's a certain timeline. They're they're kind of getting into that timeline of like later term. Like they're asking for that, and I'm like ah, that's starting to get a little fucked up or whatever. But at the same time, just on its base, I can agree with the argument that I don't want someone having a kid that doesn't want a kid because that ups the chance that they're going to be a shitty parent yeah. and shitty that kid and that shit kid turns into a shitty adult that's shitty to other people mm. it's upping the chance it's not necessarily going to happen but it ups the chance so i'm in agreement with that but i do think adding abortion adds this like get out of jail free card mm-hmm. to people who should have learned a lesson mm. and maybe the opposite of what i just said maybe they don't become shitty parents or something like that. They learn their lesson and become less shitty people. Whereas that person who does get the abortion, mm. everything was fixed. I can't, like, I'm holding stuff like this thing. Yeah. Uh, you wipe your hands of it, and then you go on, and you're still hitting up the clubs the next day. Yeah. Being like, like I'm sure abortions take time to recover from, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Meanwhile, you, you turn your child to be into abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Abortion. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're not learning lessons. I think... And, uh, uh, yeah, we're not. I, I, like I said, I, I feel I probably should have... The first girl I, I got knocked <laughs> up, I should have been that person's you yeah. know, baby daddy. I should have had a kid. And I probably would be a much different person today. Instead, <laughs> I am this... I am what you see. <laughs> yeah, you never grew. I never grew. You never grew from. Yeah. What age did you have that abortion? I was like early twenties, probably. Early twenties. So yeah. early twenty. That's another thing too. We're such pieces of shit yeah. that like we we take so long to grow up nowadays. You were in your twenties, and you said early twenties. So that's not twenty. That's I'm asking that's at least twenty one, twenty two, twenty two. Back in the day. 22 they'd be like finally you had your kid <laughs> you know, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you've been a man for 10 years now. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're like i'm 22 i'm not ready for this <laughs> we're such assholes you go from like first i got the way being the ring bear and then next year you're expected to get married <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is up you're with fucking that? the flower girl <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! But I mean, I, I, if I did get somebody, if I had a kid at twenty-two, it would be how? Oh, so again, three, two, ten. Oh, this like, is sad. This is sad. Watching you do math. <laughs> 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 this, is the, this is the French education oh, God, system. She be, be oh, I hate them. She be sixteen. She'd be sixteen. Your daughter would be sixteen. 16 yeah. Right yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Poor boy. We don't know. But I mean, like... No, you were getting a girl. (laughs) And she would have been hot. That guy. (laughs) A little Latina little girl. Half Latina. Half white. Half white. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that been... Fucking Karen Consuela. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Karen. I'd rather Consuela than that. Yeah, that would like... you go Spanish if you had a kid? Spanish name? Mm. <laughs> if it was a girl, dude. <laughs> I... Is this weird? Like, I'd want to name her Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Leanne, maybe? No, just Lee. Like, first Le- name Lee and middle name something. Yeah. I don't think that would... I, I think that's one of those things that falls under because I know you. Yeah. I it I it would hard it's hard for me to picture Lee as a woman, yeah. but I I think if I didn't know you and some girl introduced herself as Lee, I actually think that sounds normal. Now is it is it weird? No, I think it's narcissistic to yeah. be like I'm gonna call my <laughs> daughter after me. I guess you're right. Narcissism <laughs> isn't weird. <laughs> it's not weird at all. You're right. <laughs> but it's not weird. Uh, I think the name would sound normal. Um, what do you think of Trudeau uh, divorce? No, well, that too, but also, what is these going to be regular? The government's going to be regulating pod, Canadian podcasts now. Oh, yeah, you sent me something about that. What is it? Explain it a little bit. I think, though, like, in order for you to be, you know, I guess, fucked with by the government, you have to make a certain amount of money uh-huh. making your podcast. So we're safe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're okay, safe. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how do you regulate every shitty podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, how are you going to regulate two gingers one way? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wait, is that a podcast? I don't know if they're still going, but... Who was that? 
Render and Darren Burke. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah. I saw Matt Render the other day oh, uh, Matt, on my Matt way Ren- to the on my way to that Tokyo Fried Chicken show. Yeah, yeah. And it was in Roncesvalles, and he's with some chick. And I look at her, I'm like. Dude, she's young. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, yes. he's like, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. She's 22. <laughs> oh, you just said that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were thinking that in this moment. I looked at her up and down. Yeah. And I was just like, dude, Ugh, she's young. She's young. <laughs> <laughs> she's like a little kid. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's bad coming from someone who will date a woman who has, has the sound of a baby. What do you mean? Your your last girl, baby voice. Oh yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. had like the Joey Lawrence Adam. Yeah, progeria voice. kid voice. Yeah, the, like, yeah. little voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a fun um, voice to fuck. You know what's funny? You, <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> I didn't interrupt you to say I was about to go like, oh Matt Render, good guy, because the story <laughs> went into <laughs> he's a, he's, a he's, a, he's one of those legal pedophiles. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> he's legal, he's legal pedo. Yeah. <laughs> you have to respect a legal pedo in a way because mm. they're going, look, I know what I'm into is fucked up. Yeah. I'm gonna find a cheat, which is just a twenty something year old woman mm. who looks like a kid to me. Mm. You know? I think that's the that's the best you can do in that scenario. I guess, uh, like to me, like no, I'm, I'm fucking around. Matt Render is a good dude, uh, funny comic, <laughs> but like she looked. Young yeah, you just told a story about him being fun. awesome. <laughs> 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 of course, he's a good dude. What do you mean? High five them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she looks like a kid. Yo, was she, uh, <laughs> was she fourteen? <laughs> Jump high five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like. What? How would you feel if like you got an email, uh-huh. like, a podcast like email address, and it's like somebody from the government like trying to get information from us about our podcast? Like, oh, okay, you, yeah, yeah. So what, finish what, explaining like what, what do you, you just? That's what they're doing. Like what? Is, what are they doing? I don't know. This I, is bad like, that it, I don't know it, this. I guess it sounds like. Well, I don't know much of it. I just saw it, like read some of it, and I saw like we're supposed to make a certain amount of money in order to be considered or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I go, well, we're not. That's never going to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but so, if you're considered, I, I I imagine it's probably something like where they listen to your content and they regulate like what you can and cannot oh, say. Oh, so if we said something that is let's say it goes against the government. A- anti yeah, yeah, yeah. Anti Trudeau, you know all that shit, then then they'll probably be like Oh, you can't use that. They'll edit it out, like whatever. Oh, it just seems like it's censorship. It's just full blown censoring. With but whatever like the fuck, you have to say our <laughs> shit in a way. We're obviously not paid by Spotify, but we're connected to Spotify in that they have a platform that uh, if anyone's listening, trying to figure out how to put up their podcasts, you 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 can uh, you can get a, a a login for that site. You sign up, you figure everything out, and then it, it puts out the podcast on all the platforms. Even though it's ran by Spotify, they're okay with like putting it on all platforms, yeah. right? So if the government goes, oh, uh, the Goblin Ogre podcast is now making $10 a week, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, w- we got to regulate this, uh, wouldn't, th- wouldn't they have to go to Spot- Spotify's like, hey, fuck you. Yeah, like I don't even know what it's our fuck, company. Yeah, like, didn't Spotify Apple say "fuck us. you" to to the government one time? I think in the U.S. because so. they wanted like information, and Apple was like, "Yeah, you can go fuck yourself." Yeah. So, I I feel like that they would have to get an agreement with companies. But either way, that's still fucked up. Well, that's some commie bullshit. Like, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it sounds like it's fucking like one of those garbage Asian countries, like where where you can't say anything about. Do you know that in North Korea, if your house is on fire, you have to save the pictures of the leaders. <laughs> like, before you save anyone else, you have to bring those out. <laughs> like <laughs> calling my my He's daughter so- Lee is narcissistic as <laughs> for that. <laughs> that, I that I, I save all my Lee pictures. <laughs> <laughs> my, house. my leader, like, like he's just like imagine having to run back into the house because if you don't. I think you go to fucking jail or get executed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fuck. <laughs> Honestly, burn at the stake. I, okay, I know we are heading maybe not in the best direction, uh, country wise or whatever. Yeah. But it's still funny to like you hear about how fucking crazy some of these dictators are. Yeah. You're just like, oh fuck, that's crazy. <laughs> Ours is just really like closeted at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's gonna come out. He's gonna come out 
as a as a gay or bi man. I I've, I've been hearing that a lot lately. Um I I believe it. Uh he's too like he's too protective of that group. Uh, you know what I mean? I'll say he was cheating with someone. He was either cheating with women or the French president Macron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I heard it was it, the other the rumor is that he was cheating with some Ukrainian woman or whatever and then that's all the conspiracy is that's why he's one of the leaders that has such a hard on to help ukraine not that i'm against help to ukraine for but like oh so all the money he's sending is just for his side check it's his <laughs> pussy money <laughs> <laughs> he has to follow it through Zelensky. <laughs> <laughs> but i the the homosex i have to pay attention to him more to see if he could possibly be closeted i don't know i think he is. i mean just look at the way he talks <laughs> he's, he's just French. <laughs> no, he's, not. he's not even French. It's like just the way. He he's just, yeah. It, but it's also <laughs> prepared, so it's hard to tell. I'd have to see him like, literally. We bu- we get some beers, hang out, and, and just uh, watch him. Just watch, like, yeah. And he would have to be like, no cameras, no nothing, behind the scenes, but and that, that's the only like- way you can tell. Because otherwise, they're prepared. So I think. They prepare him in that way, and it can always come off a little. Well, gay. he's just also just the way he carries himself is fruity, like just the, you know, how he like so straight postured his hair, the way he, the way he positions his face, everything yeah. is so gay like. And then you hear how he talks about the LGBT, and apparently it starts with two now, like the it, the two LL? plus the two plus <laughs> ladies love oh. uh, ladies <laughs> love <laughs> ladies <laughs> love gay, LGBT gay love. ladies <laughs> love. <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, Hello, cool GBTQ. <laughs> <laughs> we named the episode that. Yeah. Hello, cool. We'll change L-G-B-T-Q. it from CarCast to Hello, cool GBTQ. Plus. Yeah. Um, like that stuff, I think, I, I think personally, he's just, he's just a, a man that goes in the direction of the wind type, you know? So there's he he believes in the public pressure to be super pro you know this thing and he just he does that mm. right um, now I don't think he would be right wing if something really right wing came up but like still I think he just he's he's a people pleaser he wants he wants to do the thing that will get him more likes and votes and all that kind of stuff he's just like leaning into that and so. It's not a great example to me that he's gay because I think like that's just he feels like that's what he's supposed to do. Hmm. But now I, I'm predicting he will come out. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have a great party podcast if he does come out. Yes. We'll support him because yeah. you know, hey, you're gay. You yeah. should be out there and not taking away hot pieces of ass like his wife. Oh, you think Sophie Trudeau is hot? No, I don't remember what she looks like. I just uh, yeah, she looked kind of like who cares? Who cares? But no she, wonder he's gay. <laughs> no this is your fault, Sophie. You weren't hot enough, <laughs> Sophie Gregoire. I remember when she had this like clip of her singing, yeah, yeah. and it was so fucking like cringy. Like, I, I wonder if we could like bring it up like during one of the episodes. It, it's really like just uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like you know, it's just the way she was like her, the, her style of like how she was like singing was just yeah, yeah. made my fucking skin crawl. And then I knew for you know for real that. That relationship is, is probably on. It's probably on. It's on the way out. Well, no, it is on the way. I thought they're uh, like they're separate. Out. They're but they're out before they uh, divorce. Oh, you're they're saying like when the, he heard that horrendous singing? Well, you can't stay with a woman like that for too long because she's obviously irritating. And then there's Trudeau, who's really fucking annoying. So both of them mm-hmm. together, you go. How do you stand one another? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like one has to be cool. Like one of. The, like in order for like a relationship to work, at least one person has to be, you know, worth it. Like kind of Look, fun. Either way, either way, if you dislike him right now, uh, I think he's he's on his he's on his way out. There's no like there there's there's no stopping it now. Yeah. And there and my reasons for saying that is very personal in that my dad has finally my dad is like super he's like loyal to the liberals type, right? He has this whole thing about like he was an immigrant and they they were more helpful when when he was like moving sure. here or whatever. So he doesn't want to turn his back on them ever, mm. right? Which I'm sure you know if we had a smarter person on this podcast, they'd be like, "Oh, that's is what's wrong with the country" or whatever. But whatever, that's his right. reason. And finally, my dad at like Thanksgiving dinner, uh, in a nicer way, basically said, uh, "Fuck this guy." Yeah. <laughs> and once my dad broke, I'm like, "That's it. This guy's out." 
this yeah. guy's out because he that's a that's a card carrying liberal right <laughs> Too there. Too many people hate him. It's, yeah. it's funny like when he does show up somewhere and there's these crowds to like don't go fuck himself basically how they're all like you're gonna fucking burn for this dude and he just turns around and smiles <laughs> <laughs> yeah he is <laughs> dude i did that once like i cut off somebody going onto yeah. the highway a long time ago and the guy's just fucking seething like frothing at yeah, the yeah, mouth yeah. like catching up next to me like fuck you you fucking idiot this is that and i just like waved at him <laughs> and he's that makes like, him his face was just like like it dropped yeah, and he's yeah. Like, and he got yeah. even angrier. I thought he was going to fucking crash, but just waving and smiling pisses people off even more. It, it will kill someone. Yeah. I remember I did it by accident. Like, I d- it was an unintended message. I think we talked about this once, so forgive me if I'm repeating myself, but I accidentally either cut someone off or... Uh, I was like, I didn't realize the light had changed and they were waiting on me. So someone's honking on me or whatever. And my intention was I gave a little wave mm. to be like, sorry. Okay. Like a right? sorry. A sorry wave. Yeah. Right. My bad. That was yeah. a, my bad wave, but they took it as a fuck you. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> and I, they drove up racing around me. Everything. They were so mad. I think the angriest somebody could imagine is like you piss somebody off like that and they give you a pit maneuver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a regular civilian pit maneuver. That's when you know you've gone. You, you've driven that guy over the edge. <laughs> uh, I had my own road rage incident uh, like two days ago or three days ago, whenever uh, uh, Friday, oh, Friday night, so two days ago, right? Yeah. I, uh, oh, I was so fucking mad and I was actually like ready to like talk about this on the podcast and unfortunately now enough time has passed that like my fucking anger dissipated. Yeah. But I was, I was driving on Bloor, but the parts of Bloor where it's absolutely just one lane, right? Yeah. So there's no like going around me or anything like that. I'm driving in this lane. If you're behind me, you're behind me. That's it, right? Yeah. I'm driving, and all of a sudden I see a couple of bicycles. So not bikes, bicycles come around my right side, which is kind of the way they should be coming. Now, they're already assholes because there's a bike lane yeah. that way, right? Okay. So they should be in that fucking bike lane. If I have to lose fucking shit, like space on my road because of your bike lane, get in your fucking lane. Yeah, get in your lane for sure. But they're coming on my right side. It didn't bother me as much. One of them was doing a wheelie, so I was kind of like, ah, that's kind of dangerous. It's like it's not low traffic. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I gotta go left, so I signal and I start turning my wheel to go left this way. And a guy, I have my window op- open. A guy goes. Hey, you know, and I think he even taps my car. I don't remember, but he's like, he's like mad at me because he was a fucking bicycle trying to overtake me on my left. And I didn't see him. I was going to turn into him in a one lane road. I go and then I yell, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And then he stops and he's yelling at me because now we're at a light or whatever. And he's yelling at me and my girl's just like, just go (laughs) or whatever. But. I remember I decided in that moment I am I am taking some sort of combat training sport <laughs> because I am I'm releasing an open <laughs> fatwa yeah. on fucking cyclists in this city. They can go <laughs> fuck themselves yeah. and the challenge is out. If I see you and you do something fucked up on my way here, this row this light, right, just leading up to your to the place you're at, right? Yeah. A fucking, this was a motorcycle, but still, he just, there was no, he just went through the red light because they don't, like, no, none of these people, for some reason, if you're in a car, you're expected to, like, follow all rules, Yeah. but if you're on a fucking bike, you can just do whatever the fuck you want, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in on it. Any, any, vi- <laughs> any violence, <laughs> any violence on cyclists, uh, this is a lie, um, any violence on cyclists. I'm fucking, it's open season because I can't stand them anymore. I fucking, I can't stand them. Don't hurt them. But still, in my head, it, yeah. I, 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 I or, only wish them harm. Or just like, in my head. Like in a situation like that where the guy comes on like your side of the car and he's fucking up and you're yelling at each other, just get like one of those powerful BB guns and shoot out his yeah, tire yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just take off. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> just fucking shoot out someone's tires. 
I I also don't understand the lack of respect they give to my car because I maybe he's expecting if anything goes down, I'm going to get out of his car in my car, he's going to get off his bike and we're going to fucking shoot a square fight. Yeah. Or he stopped. He was stopped like over like across from me, right? Yeah. Or I could be a fucking psychopath. You've pissed me off enough. I will run you over in my like two ton vehicle. Yeah. And kill you. Yeah. No, for sure. People don't know who they're fucking with. You don't they know don't. if I'm a psycho. It's like over the phone when somebody like gives you that hard of a time. It's like an asshole. I could see your address. Like, yeah, how would you, yeah, like, yeah. One day I'd go to your fucking address and burn a cross in your front lawn. <laughs> 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 how do you know I'm not that crazy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. People don't know, but I've done that too. I, I've probably messed with the wrong no. fucking idiot too. Yeah, that me too. Rip but... my head off. But um. I want to mention one thing before I, I think we should call it a, an episode. Okay. About my coccyx. Oh. Because I, I heard about You heard. It. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You. What you, you guys were saying. You're I didn't calling out it. Pierre Trudeau when the real <laughs> gay bo in this car is you. <laughs> no. I got it from uh, sitting too long on a dick. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, on a flat surface. <laughs> like for too long. And I didn't feel that at first. I was like, oh, my, my thing is kind of sore. And then in bed, I'm like. I'd wake up and when I'd move like that lower back part, yeah, yeah. just start like hurting, and I'm like, "Oh, that's weird." <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we had to record, and I was like, "I don't want to fucking move around with this. I'm just gonna like stand chill out for a yeah, bit. yeah, yeah." But no, I heard like you're like, "Oh, because <laughs> he was taking in the ass." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ian had a very valid theory. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I've so far I haven't heard anything that directly dispels it all you're saying is you don't remember when it started no, you I just think it was on the ttc i was just sitting on uncomfortably on some surface or whatever and it just that's where i think it happened there's a lot of speculation yeah. until i hear hard facts uh a real alibi to you to not ass. sitting yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and ian fergus he sent me a text of googling it and highlighted, you took it in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he sent me the same text. <laughs> so it's all speculation, yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah. But with that, I got food ready. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, the whole time we're talking, you're like, I mean, my food's getting cold. <laughs> my fries are worthless now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Buddy. Thanks for listening. It's good to see you. Uh,